Good evening, and thank you. The video we just saw is called The Welcome. It was created to launch the UN's free and equal campaign in India last year, and it quickly became the most widely watched online video ever produced by the UN. The welcome. What a fitting word to begin the next part of our program. When I became the first openly gay member of the NBA, I considered the challenges I might face both on and off the court. I wasn't sure if I would hear the word welcome. It had been argued that no team would want to take on a player who was likely to attract a media circus or whose sexuality would be quote, a distraction. I'm happy to have dispelled much of that talk. Among, <laughs> Among the memories I will cherish the most in my career are the warm applauses I received by fans across the entire NBA including a standing ovation at my first home game in Brooklyn after making my announcement. The media blitz, oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. But the media blitz unscrambled so quickly that our team media personnel jokingly nicknamed me Mr. Irrelevant. <laughs> what a gift to live in a society that could find this kind of announcement irrelevant and welcome me the way that it did. We've come a long way, but even a couple years earlier, that kind of reaction would have been unimaginable. And in so many parts of the world, it still is. In fact, in many parts of the world, publicly acknowledging your sexuality is a crime punishable by the fullest extent of the law. Elsewhere, it is at a minimum tantamount to social exile. This is exactly why the UN's free and equal campaign is doing such vital and, in my belief, life-saving work. With thanks to the drive and determination of the High Commissioner for Human Rights and his team, the UN has launched a unique and unprecedented, unprecedented global public education campaign for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender equality. And it's <laughs> in its first year alone, it engaged more than a billion people to promote the fair treatment of LGBT people and generate support for measures to protect their rights. By debunking myths, challenging negative stereotypes, and getting people talking, free and equal is able to reach communities where the issue has been considered so taboo that levels of awareness are practically non-existent. Without question, free and equal is filling a void, educating the public and finding the right cultural notes to build support. Ladies and gentlemen, Accepting the award on behalf of Free and Equal is the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Zaid Rad El Hussein. Although the High Commissioner couldn't be with us tonight, we're pleased to share with you his acceptance. Good evening. I'm the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, and on behalf of my office, I'm delighted to accept this award from the United Nations Foundation in recognition of the Free and Equal campaign. You do us a great honor. Uh, Free and Equal was launched under the leadership of my predecessor, Navi Pillay, a lifelong fighter against discrimination in all its forms. The idea behind the campaign is, is this, ending violence and abuse against lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people 
will take more than new laws and policy announcements. It's going to take a fundamental change in social attitudes in people's hearts and minds. To do that, you have to challenge negative stereotypes and show people that LGBT people are just that, people. And that is exactly what we want to do with the Free and Equal campaign. Uh, let me thank uh, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon for being such a great champion of this campaign. And uh, let me recognize the contribution made by our celebrity equality champions, among them musicians Ricky Martin, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, uh, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, Daniela Mercury, and the band Fun, and the Bollywood actress uh, Selena Jaitley. Uh, they have helped carry the free and equal message to nearly two billion people. Uh, but most of all, I'd like to pay tribute to the many human rights defenders on the ground who speak up for the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex people, often at great risk to their own security, freedom, and even sometimes their lives. They are the real heroes of this story. Their dedication and their sacrifice is our best hope for a better world, a world that is safer, freer, and fairer for all people, including members of the LGBT community. I dedicate this award to them. Thank you very much.